Good evening everyone and welcome to the stream. This evening I'm going to be going through some words with the flashcards format, so uh, go through some opposites, so loan and borrow as an example, and later on switch over to multiple choice questions. So what's the opposite of external, inaccurate, internal or sad? Well make a choice and then find an answer. So there's about 102 opposites in here I chose and uh, we'll get started. So feel free to join in, feel free to ask questions if you've got any questions. So the first word is private and then the opposite of public space. So private would be in somebody's house whereas public would be out in the park. So the word is forward as in a car's going forward and the opposite of that is backward. So driving reverse. For carnivore it's an animal that eats meat and meat only. The opposite of that is herbivore. It's an animal that eats plants only. In the middle, there's omnivores that eat both plants and um, animals. So the next word is profit. And the opposite of that is loss, used in company accounts. If they're profit, they've made more money than they uh, spent. And if there's a loss, they've um, spent more money than they got coming in. So moving on to the next one, we've got remaining and then consumed. So I might have uh, 24 beers in a case of beer and we've got eight remaining, which means we've consumed 16. So seller, so this words are relative to a house. Down the bottom of the house is the cellar. Up the top of the house is the attic. Up near the roof. And these relate to sound. So a microphone is something that has sound go into it. And a megaphone is something that has sound go out of it. For an aircraft, once it's taken off and it's on its way up to its fly path, it'll ascend and climb up to a certain altitude. And when it's midway through and then start um, going towards the airport again to land, it'll descend to lose altitude and come back down closer to ground. For marriage, where a couple joins together and looking to spend the rest of their life together. Whoops. The opposite one for that was divorce. I've just clicked over to the next one by mistake. So the opposite of marriage is divorce, where a couple separates. For something that's opened, the opposite is closed. You can open a jar of spices and then once you're done with it, close it. If there's a lot of people in a place, the area is called crowded, and the opposite is it's deserted. If there's almost nobody in a shopping center or, or shops, then that would be a way to describe saying there's very few people around. You could also say empty or it was quiet, an adult, so the opposite of that is a child, and long, piece of string is long, the opposite is short, it might be only as long as two fingers, whereas a long bit of string might go from your head to your feet. An area where people live could be urban, with a lot of houses close to it, and uh, close together we're rural where it's a lot like a farm and the houses are wide apart and there might be crops and you know a 20 minute drive between houses so a door could be open and the opposite of that is it's shut so you could occupy a house uh, for the lease and when you move out you vacate if you yeah get a Lease and move in, you'd be occupying it or moving in, and moving out is vacating. You could have a car that's reliable. It um, turns on every day, it does everywhere you need to go, but opposite would be unreliable and might break down with no notice. Oh, stop working, or might be the radio where it just doesn't work, but it breaks down. Relation to time, we've got afterward, and the opposite of that is before. So there might be some kickoff, some entertainment kickoff for the big game before it, and afterward we have the game and then the post-match commentary and um, 
maybe interview and chat with the captains. Someone who knows a lot about a few things is specialized, but someone who knows a little bit about everything is generalized. If you go down to the shops, you're usually the buyer, and the person who owns the shop would be the seller. Someone who um, gives and tips generously is um, would be yeah someone that tips a lot or yeah you know, the church if you, there's a plate that goes around and offering someone who puts a lot of money into it relative to what they earn would be generous and someone who puts very little in there compared to what they earn is meagre. So now if you're on a team playing a game of sport, the people you're playing against are your competitors. And the people you're playing with are allies. You could also say they're teammates, and it's more of to do with like World War, well, not World War Two for competitors and allies, but an ally is your friend and sort of working with you on the same team. So for a value that's fixed, the opposite of that is variable. Uh, one thing that's come up recently is home loans. You could have a lock in an interest rate, so you might fix it for the next year, and even if the general interest rate rise goes up. Now the variable people, people on variable lines would, but yours would stay fixed. So if you follow the manual and do the work that you're at to the appropriate standard, you're doing it properly. But if you're not, you're doing it improperly. Another example, some you could be dressed, um, not dressed according to the uniform. So you might need to wear a suit and tie to go to work, but if you wear jeans and a t-shirt, you'll be dressed improperly. This one, I think, is to do with roads and passageways, where it's wide, there's a lot of space for people to walk around, but one where there isn't too many areas to walk around is narrow. Might be only able to fit one or two people in close by it. So, when someone might have come around and said, uh, who would like a slice of cake for dessert? It could be everybody. So if there was 10 people there, all 10 people put their hand up. But the opposite might be who wants broccoli for dinner? And then nobody might put their hand up, so zero people. Going to the airport, planes leaving an airport are departing, and planes going to the airport are arriving. Something might happen uh, frequently or regular. The, the bus might travel past uh, 9 o'clock every morning, and then 10 o'clock, and then 11 o'clock, and then maybe skip 12 o'clock because it's lunch time. And then come back at one o'clock, but you'd know if, if you go there at any particular day, you could have a time to expect for the bus to go past. Some other areas of buses might have on demand and they're considered irregular. And if they break down, well, they might also not get serviced. So for sunset, where the sun goes out to the west and uh, goes down, and the opposite of that would be sunrise, where it um, goes from night to day. A pirate out on the high seas, raiding uh, shipping, and the opposite of the pirates would be soldiers, working for the government to try and shut them down. So for the size of something, you'd call it tiny if it's very, very small, and huge if it's very, very big. You might have a person who's calm, they're relaxed and they look like everything's in control, but you might have someone who's agitated and they might be running on a tight schedule and know that if they are um, late then for an important meeting, they might be getting a bit upset. But if someone's well ahead of time and they're easily going to make the meeting, then they'll be calm. Someone's cautious. They might be um, not taking any risks. And someone who's reckless is it goes off and takes risks. That might be someone who uh, drives around cars too fast, but someone who's cautious would um, drive very slow and to the conditions that might even slow down a bit more extra if it's raining. So subtle is uh, when something doesn't quite stand out. You might have a little bit of a flavor of vanilla in a coffee rather than something that's very obvious flavor or mint. Yeah, but then you could have obvious where you take your first sip and you know, yep, there's mint in there. So if you're standing in a room, the floor's below your feet and the roof is above your head. 
then if you go out and could um for fishing on a weekend the first uh, you look to catch fish but you might also release the fish if it's um undersized and not legal limit where you're able to take it home you might exclude some um, things from a promotion, so they might be 50% off store-wide, excluding some things, maybe alcohol, due to legislation, and include is where it's included. So uh, that's things that are part of a promotion or part of a, a deal. They better exclude things that are not included. Ancient things that have happened a long time ago, so the pyramids were ancient, whereas modern, something has happened relatively new. And you consider, say, the Eiffel Tower and um, Statue of Liberty to be modern works. Ancient is hundreds and thousands of years old. So you might play a game indoors if it's raining. And the opposite of that is outdoors, which I've just clicked over, sorry. Which very similarly, we've got outside. And then the opposite of that is inside. So when you get up in the morning, you would be awake. And of an evening, you'd lie down to bed to go asleep. You might have a nap in the afternoon as well, if you have a particularly big day. But then once um, you're fully rested, you get awake again. Wildlife are animals that are not living near humans. So a polar bear might be an example of that. And a whale out in the ocean. But you might have domesticated animals like cats and dogs, particularly if they're pets. And you can also have something in the middle, a bit like farm animals and horses. But um, I'd say they're used to being around humans. So you might have something that's very tight. I might have bought a shirt that and gotten a bit bigger. So it got tight on me, but then it get loose as well. And it can be also used to describe a nut, nuts and bolts. So if you do the nuts and bolts up on a car wheel, very tight so that they don't, um, the wheel doesn't come off when you're driving. When playing a game, there might be a race, and the winner is the first person across the line, and the loser is uh, the person that came second. It might be more like a game of basketball or soccer. The losing team gets less points, and the winning team gets more points. Good. Um, my, I might have been a bit sick, and my neighbor might have checked in on me, which is good. And evil is the, the bad doers like the people and robbers. So the good people are out to do nice things and the evil people are out to do not so nice things, very bad things. We might do something together or we might also do them apart. If I'm married, we might um, go to a party together, but we might also have our own interests as well. So she might want to go out to a night out with her friends and I might want to stay at home and um, do one of my hobbies. So maybe we have spent the night apart. Uh, once you get up, uh, you go to the cupboard and get dressed and then get undressed to go and have a bath or a shower. Things might be done in an orderly fashion, so where you're at a shop and there's a big queue with a lot of people, but they might also be chaotic if there's a lot of people and they're all shouting and yelling and everyone's trying to get their order. The opposite of that is that everyone's formed a queue and then people might come in at the time. Some people might jump the queue and it'd still be orderly, but it's as long as everything's generally happening in a hole and not everything going everywhere, I'd call that orderly still rather than chaotic. Something might happen accidentally. A person didn't mean for it to happen. Someone might have had a lot of things on their mind. They might have got out of the car and forgot to put the handbrake on. And because it's just on a little bit of a hill, it slowly starts going down the hill. But if um, someone might also deliberately crash where they knew they were going to crash, and um, they've, they've done it anyway. So it might be, uh, some people might be immune to some things where it's not going to affect them. And vulnerable is where they would be affecting them. So they might have a compromised immune system, but um, someone might have be immune to it because they might have had it before, like with um, chicken pox. If you sit an exam and get a grade, pass 50% in most cases, 70% in some others, you'll pass. But if you get a grade below that, then that'll be a fail. Go and having some chocolate for dinner afterwards, that'd be sweet. But um, some lemons, that'd be sour. Different taste to 
Not quite pleasant taste in my. If you're just moving from one place to another, you might walk. But if you have to go in a hurry, the opposite of that would be run. If you've got a line and it um, is there from one point to another and it takes the shortest way, it's straight. But if it then goes and then goes up and below and then off to the right, then it's curved. A person might be considered charming. They say all the things that you want to hear, all nice and um, you know, you're interested, attracted to them, you think they'd be a good friend. But they might also, someone else might be repulsive. They might come in um, smelling real bad and then look like they haven't had a shave in a week. So it would be the total opposite of someone who's um, well-groomed and has good manners. With regard to governments, they can tax people. So they might be where they take money from corporations, businesses or people. And as part of a tax, it might be an income tax or so otherwise. But governments can also encourage some things to happen. And they could do a subsidy. So they could um, offer to help pay for things like installing solar panels on roofs. If you're at a race, the first thing that happens is start. And then once you go across the line at the end, that's the finish once you're all done. Someone, the manager at work, might look over the rule book, know it backwards and forwards, and um, make sure everything's followed to the letter, in which case they're very strict. But the opposite of that would be lax, where they're not too worried at all. As I said earlier, the dress code might be suit and tie, but they might say, well, you don't really need to wear a tie, in some cases maybe not a jacket, and that would start to be getting onto lax. But if you came in one day and they said, you don't have a tie, you've got to go home, or your tie isn't the correct colour, that's where we'd be pretty strict. So the factory might be looking to increase production and then put more out, but the opposite of that would be decreased production if things started getting very slow. If we're looking at a person and hiring them for a job as a candidate for it, they might be a particularly good fit, have all the right qualities, you know, have five years experience, and they might have 10. They would be ideal. We would want to hire them. But the option for, other option for that, they'd be a bad fit. If when they come on, we might need to start teaching them, and we may not have schedule for it, there might be better candidates out there than this person. But someone might go out hiking, and they might want to spend a lot of time alone, or go out riding a bike, and they were only by themselves, not as a group. But um, if they go as a group with somebody else, then they'd be together. And uh, the two or more people. Uh, if something was to contract, so a contract can be a few things. Um, you could be a legal contract, binding some people to some things like um, transfer of a car. But in this case, contract is relating to size. So in this case, it's shrinking. Like a muscle might contract, and then the opposite of that is it could expand. If I go and I'm a bit short of money this week, I might ask my friend if I could loan some money off them. And in um, that case, uh, they would be making the loan to me, and I would be borrowing the money from them and pay them back in a week or so. We go into law and uh, crime with the courtroom. person looking to bring about some charges and maybe civil complaint, and someone suing for damages is the plaintiff, the person doing it. So someone might have said something bad about me, and I'm suing them for defamation because I might have lost money because they said this bad thing about it, I didn't get a movie role or something like that. And then they would be the defendant if I brought the action about it. So if I um, had a glass and a person only put it up half full, I might go and ask for more. And the opposite of that is asking for less. So don't give me as much as everybody else. I only need a small amount. If it's um, had a very big day out hiking and we've set up the tent and I'm ready to start cooking, I'd be very hungry at the time. But once I've had some food or I'm not hungry, I'd be satiated. I guess full is also in there where you're feeling like you can't eat anymore. But satiated, I think, is the opposite of hungry, where you're not feeling like you need to eat. So someone might know the directions to a place we're going to, in which case I would be following them. 
But if I knew the directions for where we we're going to go and someone else was um, behind me, I'd be leading them. So for volume, if the opposite of shout, talking very loudly, would be to whisper something or talking very quietly because I don't want some other people to hear it. But I think with the microphone setup I've got, even if I shout and whisper, it digitally adjusts it and tries to keep it at the same level. So I wouldn't quite, if I shout and, and whisper, it won't quite make sense. Um, I might have someone who said that children said they were going to be home at um, 3.30 after school. And I might be worrying because I haven't heard from them and they haven't turned up. And I've misspelled that one. It's meant to be calming. Or I think it's calm. Well, yeah, well, let's... It should be calm. Sorry, I didn't quite check that one. But if I'm someone who is worrying, the opposite of that would be calm. There. Well, um, if I rub my hand over some things, that would it could be rough, like sandpaper or some tree barks. But then it might be smooth, like a um, sanded wood or concrete. If I have a system and there's a few steps and there's um. It's very easy. I just uh, put something into the top, crank the handle, and it automatically pops out the bottom. Then it's very simple. There's not much that can go wrong. But if it's very complex in that I've got to put exactly the right amount in one section, put exactly the right amount into a second section, I don't have anything really that measure it. I've got to push a button, and then 10 seconds later push another one, and then a third thing has to happen before it to go through, and then that's um, complex. If um, I had to take something out, so a surgeon might have a patient on the table with an inflamed appendix, in which case they're looking to extract the inflamed appendix and take it out of the person's body. And the other option would be to insert. And in a situation like that, they might be inserting a titanium hip or something like that, putting something into the body, where in extracting, it's being taken out. With regard to some information, um, if I'm uncertain about it, like I might have someone come up to me on the street and say, can I guess their age? How old they are? I don't really know. I might say 32. But if one of my best friends, I went through primary school with them, I'm certain I know their age and I know how old they are. I could um, measure something out with a ruler and get an accurate idea of how long it is. Or I could um, take a wild guess and that would be inaccurate. It's um, not going to be as precise. A tunnel is something that will go underneath the ground. And traveling on a bridge, we're going above the ground as well. So for an incline for a hill, I might have a gradual incline where it's only going up very slowly. You know, I'm barely uh, feeling it at all. But if it's a very steep hill, a huffing and puffing, and more like going up some stairs, then that was. Um, would be steep, or if we're rock climbing, it would be much more steep than a gradual incline. I could be reading a book or watching a television show and consider it very entertaining on the edge of my seat and want to watch it all. But it could be opposite of that is very boring and someone might be talking along in a long monotone voice or it might be the same story that we've heard before. If um, there's a test with the examiner, the teacher gives us questions we haven't really seen before. It might be very hard if they haven't covered them. Sorry, I've got it wrong. So I've gone down the wrong path, sorry. So hard um, is like concrete and soft is like a blanket and pillows. So if, yeah, English, there's quite a few words that can mean several different things. And tough and easy. So similar, very similar to what I was just talking about. The tutor, the lecturer might have set a tough exam where make sure that everyone knew everything that was covered and maybe touched on some things they just brushed on. But an easy exam, uh, most of the class would have passed without too much problems. If um, I go into a desert, I'm going to be getting hot. And if I go into the Arctic, into somewhere where there's ice, it's going to be a bit cold. So like the top edges of Norway, or um, up a mountain with some snow. If something doesn't move, it's static. There's uh, nothing going on. And the opposite of that is dynamic, where there's a lot going on. So you could say the engine of a car is static when the ignition's off, and it's dynamic when things are going on. There's movement as well, but it's um, there's something going on. Or it might be a dynamic problem in that it's not one that can be solved. 
as you easily look at it. And uh, things are changing by the moment. So for a single, you just have one item and uh, multiple items. So only just one for a single, it might be a single rider. So I've been to theme parks before where there was a separate queue for single riders. And the ride might have had four people per item. And if there might have been a group of two and someone else is a single, well, I want to get as many people through as possible so they'll pop another single on and get someone else through. So it might be faster to travel as a single. For things that are common, they're very, very frequent. Um, but things that are rare, it's really hard to, to come across. Um, it, um, common, you might have something like a plate. And rare, you might have a diamond wedding ring. For something that's um, external, that's outside of it. And internal is inside. You might have an um, internal combustion engine where there's the flames going inside, but there's also external combustion engines like rockets. If you're bringing something into a country, then you're importing it from a different country. But if we're taking something from our country and taking it to another one, we're exporting that. If you're at uh, in the middle of the day, it's nice and bright. But if you wait until night, and maybe if there's only moonlight or so, it could get very dim. So very hard to see. Uh, an option, I might ask someone whether they want to go, as in leave a particular area, or stay. So the plane might only have one spare seat, where the family of two. And I might ask which one of them wishes to go, or which one of them wishes to stay. But they might also both decide to stay at the time, but at least then we give them the options. In this one, we're packing relative to boxes. So we're going to be putting things into boxes. And when we get to the new house, we're going to unpack the boxes and then take the things and put them into particular rooms like bedroom, kitchen, and so forth. And then someone might be worrying. And then the opposite of that is reassuring. Someone might come up and tell me that everything's okay. And someone else might be uh, worrying or concerned. They might be anxious about flying. It's day when you can see the sun outside, and night when the sun's at the other side of the earth and we can't see it anymore. I might be glad and happy, and the opposite of that would be sad. Um, I might have had some really bad news or found out I passed my test and be glad, and sad that I might have to go to summer school instead. Big things are very large, uh, like elephants, and small things are like ants. I could go into someone's room and find everything's tidy, things are in their place. You open the, the wardrobe and then everything's nice and neatly stacked and organized. But the opposite of that is it's messy. Things are everywhere. And it's pants under the other. It's very hard to find some things. So if I wanted to move an item around, I might push it from one side, but I might also pull it and uh, try and make it towards come towards me. So a firefighter who runs into a house, considered very brave, and go out and risk to do something heroic, and someone cowardly would run away from um, something like that. They might um, disappear. And I thought of an example, but I'm not going to bring it up at the moment. If I'm in a car, we're going to have to make a turn. We've got an option of turning left or right. And the opposite to... So the left side of the screen's over over here, and the right side of the screen over here. Take a, turn, take a turn to that. So there might be some items around the house, and they might be hidden, which means they're very hard to find. But they might also be prominently located. So uh, a kettle, you usually would see a kettle in the kitchen, and it'd be often out and by the sink. But um, something hidden might be a jewellery case in one of the bedrooms. Something widespread, very common, it might be a lot of news, so knowledge of um, who won the grand final might be widespread, or it could be localised. Another example of that could be a storm with a lot of big rain, so there might be widespread flooding and a lot of places affected, or it might also be localised and near a particular city or a few households. Someone waiting in um, a doctor's appointment, 
no, no, that's that's probably a bad example as that's another word of patient. Um, you might turn up to some traffic lights and see someone waiting in a car, and even though there's no real traffic going left and right, you're waiting for the green light. They might be very patient and you know happy to wait, but someone who's impatient might be screaming at the light, saying like, you know, no one's been passed in a minute. Why are you still red? If you go to school, the person out the front is the teacher and the children or the adults, depending on where you go, because it might be take for university, are the students. If I'm driving along, I might be behind a truck, and the opposite of that is I could be in front of the truck as well. So someone might have pulled out of the pit lane and come behind was that the new leader, or they might have pulled out and um, gone in front of them as well. For city, there's lots of buildings and a lot of people. And out in the country, there's um, buildings that have spread far apart. And now we've reached the end of the flashcards. I thought it might have taken longer than that. I'll move on and swap on to the uh, quiz part of it. So if there's anyone that wants to join in, it should be... Uh, very low latency if you want to join in and uh, participate. So for the word depart, the opposite is domesticated, arrive, or obvious. So if we're at an airport, the planes leaving are departing, and the planes coming are arriving. So if there's anyone in the chat that wants to take turns and uh, participate, let me know. Um, on that case, I'll wait for you. But otherwise, I'm just going to look every now and then and um, answer the questions myself. Otherwise, I might miss out. So anyway, for a microphone, where sound goes into it and it records it, the opposite is reassuring night or megaphone, where sound comes out of it. So it's going to be megaphone. If I was to catch something, release, finish, or reckless. And we'd release the item again, or we might release extra fish into a lake to try and get them um, swimming in there again. Restrict, it's right, dynamic or lax. Someone very lax on the rules doesn't care about them too much. If we're taking something to the market, the opposite of buyer is seller, child, or herbivore. Well, it'll have to be seller. For something hidden, it's a prominent, inaccurate, or obvious. Actually, this was one where it might be, uh, depending, it might go either way. There's two answers. It could be, it could be the prominent, located very there, or it might be obvious. But I'm going to go with prominent because I'm pretty sure that's what it was. For someone, the opposite of brave is run, leading, or cowardly. Someone brave is or could be leading as well, but the opposite is cowardly. Something big, opposite is um, either going to be small, improperly, or deserted. But uh, big things now the opposite small. Something very wide, whether it's vacate, dynamic, or narrow. In this case, it's narrow. For city. Cowardly, country, or agitated. The um, opposite of city, you spend some time out in the country, usually go for a weekend retreat. If your opposite of increase is together, dim, or decrease, so the plant would decrease production when business gets tough and increase it when it's booming. For a loan, uh, together, student or impatient so we might go see a movie together instead of go do different things alone uh, for following the opposite of leading loser or borrow if uh, someone's not following there's someone usually leading for afterwards uh, set time of day the opposite is before attic or impatient so the opposite would be before. Um, 
worrying. The opposite is chaotic, rural, or reassuring. Well, reassuring is uh, making someone feel better. And an adult. The opposite is easy, child, or pull. So by age, opposite of age, someone might be underage if the opposite of hungry, reassuring, satiated, or decrease. And satiated is where you're not feeling hungry. There is the opposite where you might be feeling full, that you don't want to absolutely want to eat anymore, but um, satiated is the opposite of you're not feeling hungry at the time. So sunset, child, sunrise, or insert. And sunrise is where night turns into day. The good, there's an option of unpack, borrow, or evil. And evil is the opposite. For traveling, someone might be behind you or walking. The opposite is that is either unpack, in front, or country. And someone not behind me is going to be in front of me. I need to move an item so the car might have broken down. I could get behind it and push it. And it's an opposite. Could be pull, satiated, or soldier. And an opposite is pull it. There might be a snatch strap attached to the front of the car. I might have another car pull it from the front. Properly. Whether the opposite's before, improperly, or shut. Well, improperly is not, yeah, according to the rules. Uh, specialize, to where you only focus skills on certain areas. And the opposite of irregular, unreliable, or generalize. Someone generalizing knows quite a lot about a lot of things, or a bit about a lot of things. Carnivore, animals that eat meat. And the opposite of herbivore, public or subsidy. And animals that just eat vegetables or grass are herbivores. A gradual incline. The opposite of that might be sunrise, modern, or steep. So steep. Go into a room that's tidy. The opposite is messy roof or sunrise. And messy. Immune. Something that um, isn't affecting somebody. So you might... Um, in Dungeons and Dragons, you might have a red dragon that breathes fire, and if you try and attack it with fire, it just can't be damaged, or it might take a very small amount of damage compared to what it normally would. But on the opposite, opposite, if it's um, attacked with some ice or something with a cold attack, then it'll be vulnerable. If you go into someone's house, that's private, it's not available for just anybody to walk into, and the opposite of that is public. For a car or machine or item or even a person that's reliable, the opposite is unreliable. So for someone reliable, they might turn up to work all the time and do a pretty good job. But someone unreliable, they might call in sick at the last minute. They might not do, yeah. So for static, where things aren't moving, the opposite could be inaccurate, release, or dynamic. And dynamic, where things move. So the choice of go or stay and uh, it could be complex but the opposite of go is, is stay someone who's generous they are um, happy to share their money with other people and the opposite of meager impatient or release someone meager might only um, tip a very small amount or will not donate to charity or too much at all so take a measurement that's very accurate. We, we know its details. We know if equipment's right. And the opposite of herbivore, before, or inaccurate, where it could be well out by several magnitudes. For someone, one might look at them and figure out they're fairly calm and everything, you know, looks like everything's having a normal day. They could be right, agitated, or messy. Yeah, like messy could be an option for calm, but um, someone agitated. If someone was to move into a house, they would occupy it. And as the opposite is vacate, closed, or sold. But the opposite is, is vacate. In a court action, 
there might be a plaintiff that brought about the court action, court action and started suing, and the person that they want to sue would be known as the defendant who's looking to clear their name and prove that they didn't do what they said they do. As a country, when things go into a country, it's imported, and going out of a country, it's exported. Single was just one item, so I might have a single cube of sugar. And the opposite of that is um, huge, multiple, sorry, huge, vacate, vacate or multiple. I might have multiple cubes of sugar. I guess the opposite of single could also be zero or nil, but in this case it's assuming one thing's going to happen, one or more. And something might be put to a vote where everybody said yes, but the opposite of that could be nobody before or domesticated, and nobody is the opposite of that where, where no hands went up for the motion. Um, during the day when you go outside, it's very bright. And if there's not much light around, then it's dim. When there's a lot of people around, it gets very crowded. It might be very popular out shopping of a weekend. And the opposite of that is it uh, might be five minutes before closing time. And it's pretty deserted with very few people around. For a test, if I was to pass, and not, the opposite would not get enough score, in which case I would fail the test. For tunnel, if I were to travel under the land, then travel under a hill, whereas the opposite of that is it could be reassuring curved, but a bridge has me traveling over something, so I'm going to choose that one. For a competitor, the opposite could be boring, shut, or ally, but in this case an ally is someone who's working with me, not someone who's working against me as a competitor is. Uh, noise. Um, someone might have trouble hearing me, so I might want to shout. In that case, I'd be very loud. But the opposite of that, it's not internal. It's not boring. It, it'd be whisper. I'd have someone where I didn't really want someone to hear me, so I wouldn't speak very loud at all. When two people say they want to spend the rest of their lives together, they go through marriage. And if they want to do the opposite of that, it's divorce. And related, for people go through to the shops together, they might go, um, and the opposite is that they might go individually. So instead of include, no, soft isn't right. They might go apart, where two people go as individuals. If it's day, we go outside and see the sun. The option opposite could be night, multiple, or evil. But at night, you can't see the sun. The government could take money away from people with a tax. And the opposite of subsidy, seller or before, but uh, subsidy is where the government's giving money for something to happen. If we're hiring someone, ideal candidate, so the opposite of ideal, it's not megaphone, yeah, bad, sounds about right. Could be irregular, where things don't quite look right, but we might want to give them a shot, but uh, a bad candidate is someone we definitely don't want to hire. So almost halfway through the quiz, if we're out on the ocean and come across a pirate ship, uh, the other type of ships we might come across, well, it could be just merchant ships as well, a, a ship carrying soldiers. I was originally going to say just sailors, but sailors could be in general. I wanted to say soldiers are part of the government instead of pirates that definitely aren't part of the government. So if I pass a test and um, could be glad something has happened, and for the opposite of that is sad. I'd be uh, disappointed that it didn't happen. Sad. Um, for something outside of an area, it would be external. And the opposite of that could be internal, borrow, or subsidy. But internals are things on the inside. So in a room with below us, we've got a floor. And an opposite of roof, descend, or undressed. It's a roof thing on the top of the building. And if I'm in an area like a desert, I'd be hot. Or the food could be hot as well. Um, opposite of that is could be cold, defendant, or expand. And it's cold. It'd be cold at a place like the Arctic or um, 
where there's snow outside. <laughs> so buses might come through or trains at a regular time. And the opposite of that is irregular. You're not too sure when it's going to turn up. You might get three in a row. You might get not one in the next hour or so. If um, I had a plate and my grandmother wanted to know if I, uh, how much I wanted her to put on it, I might say I wanted more. And um, I might say less for her to actually take some of the food off and maybe put it on somebody else's plate. If um, things are fairly common, they're in almost every house or so, and the opposite of that is rare. It's um, something that doesn't happen a lot, or it, um, there aren't very many of them. Someone who takes care and is very safe is uh, cautious, and someone that goes through and takes risks is considered to be reckless. If we're in a car and needed to make a turn or walking on the street, I had to give directions. I said go left. The opposite of that. A closed, irregular, or right, and it's right. I'll just say a note on that, that there's right could mean several other things as well, such as correct. If something's subtle, it's just noticeable. Um, so they might have a cream with a slight blue in a painting room, but um, if it was very boldly blue, then it would be obviously blue. So if a company gives an annual report to shareholders, they might have more money than they started the year with, in which case they've had a profit. But if they have less money than they started the year with, they've got a loss. And if I had drew a line from one point to another and it went the closest way possible, it would be straight, like this line here. The opposite of that was outdoors, subsidy or curved. A curvy line would move around a lot. So curved is the option there. If I have a machine, it could be very, very simple. It's not many moving parts or things that can go wrong with it. But the opposite of that could be curved, complex, or unreliable. It could be unreliable if it's not simple. So a um, bit complex. There might be a lot of moving parts and things that can go wrong with it. If um, two teams played a game of football, I hear that Super Bowl's coming up soon. Unless they both score the same amount of points, in which case I guess they continue on and play a bit longer. But the team that doesn't have the most points would be the winner. Sorry, the team that does have the most points would be the winner. And the other team would be the loser. And if I have a value that's um, fixed, so then the other option might be variable. Some countries might have a tax rate for people and they just take 20% of everyone's income case it's fixed it doesn't matter whether you earn hundred dollars or a hundred thousand dollars you're paying 20 percent tax but we in australia have a variable tax rate and i think it's like first eighteen thousand that don't tax you at all and they might tax you 18 percent until you earn a certain amount and then 30 percent until you earn the amount over that and then eventually it's something like 47 percent or something like that but um the scales move based on how much you earn and so if I wanted to touch something like um, sandpaper, or it could be rough, and uh, the opposite of that could be right, smooth, or short, but um, you'd want it to be smooth. And if I were to step outside and see some flowers, the opposite could be inside, student, or consumed. And inside, you're, if, put, if it's raining, do you want to be outside or inside? We're moving houses and we're packing a box, to, uh, putting things into it. The opposite is we unpack and take things out of the box. And hopefully, well, if nothing else, hopefully I'm doing okay. Uh, if, if something that's entertaining, a show might keep, keep have people captivated, be talking to each other and waiting for the next series. But alternatively, it might be very boring and people waiting for it to, you know, switch over to something else or they might start flipping on their phone or something like that for animals that don't live anywhere near humans there's wildlife and the opposite word is could be bridge domesticated or less so it's domesticated they're being near humans for food can be sweet like chocolate or um, boiled lollies and the opposite of that is it could be sour like uh, lemons 
person can be charming, in which case you're very happy to spend time near them. But if they're repulsive, then you want to spend time away from them. Now, if you want to take something out of something else, you'd be looking to extract it. And if you wanted to put something in, it would be insert. If the size of something is contracting, it's getting smaller, or you might have muscles contract as part of uh, moving, walking along, muscles expand and contract all the time. And the opposite is the expand. Something tiny is very, very small, like an ant. And the opposite of that is huge, like elephants. Someone who's awake, we can have a conversation with them. But if they're on the lounge under a blanket, then they might be asleep. If um, you had a package of food and you wanted to know whether it's been opened, uh, you can take things out of it. But the opposite of that is closed. Um, another example would be a doorway. You could have a door that's been opened for you and the door might be closed or so. It might be an exam, and if they set it on material they weren't too familiar with, it could be tough, and a lot of people might have trouble with it. The opposite, it's not localized or inaccurate, it's an easy exam. The examiner might have said questions they might have shown you as part of the semester. For a word exclude, we're taking things and we're saying they're not part of a promotion or not part of a thing we're doing. But the opposite is an include, specifically saying they will be part of it. For orderly action, uh, things that are happening in particular order where people have formed a queue and then uh, they go, they get served one at a time, and the opposite of that is chaotic. There might be yelling and people pushing over each other and getting to the front. So at a marathon, there's the start point, and the opposite is the finish line where they cross over and stop running. Once you get up, before you go outside, you're going to get dressed. And once you go and have a shower, you get undressed before stepping into the shower. A nut and bolt on a car wheel, you want it to be nice and tight. And the opposite, where it can move around by itself, is loose. You don't want them to be loose. So if someone did something and they might have didn't mean to do it, might be accidental, they might have sat on a chair and fallen through it, and they didn't mean for it to happen. But if they were standing up in front of it and jumping up and down and trying to put a hole in it, they're being deliberate about it. For something, it might be widespread, like flooding. Um, but if it's only in a particular area, it's going to be localized, not affecting a whole bunch of people. Uh, if you're walk going along and just sort of walking at a particular spot, speed, and not in a hurry, the opposite of that would be running, trying to get somewhere in, in very much in a hurry. And for a door, it could be open, or a business, it could be open. We might have gotten to the coffee shop uh, before it's opened at um, 6.30. We might have got there at 5, and it's not open, it's shut. So if I go outside, we've got bits of wood, and sit on it, it's going to feel hard. But if I get a pillow and sit on that, it's going to feel soft. So for remaining, it's how many items to go, and consumed is how many we've used up so far. Might have a bit of string, or it might be a journey, and it might also be a walk or a trip. Very long, and an opposite is um, short. It's not, no, very long. You know, it's a trip down to the shops, 10 minutes in the car. A uh, trip into another state might be several hours long, and long. If I'm driving a car, I can only really go in two directions. You spend most of your time going forward. But the opposite, it's not descend, it's not rare. You'd go backwards to when you might want to fit into a parking space. And if someone asks me for money, happy to loan them to them. And, but if I had to ask somebody else for money, then I'd be borrowing from somebody else. If uh, it's going up, then it's ascending, it might be climbing a ladder or so. But when someone's coming down, they'll be descending. Something ancient happened a very long time ago, and relatively new, it's modern. 
if you're not sure about some information and um, yeah, you need to give an answer, you know, how long is it to the next um, train gets there? I have no idea. Well, guess, is it going to be five minutes or is it going to be two hours? Uh, you might say it's 10 minutes in that case, but um, if you have a timetable there, you might know how long it is and tell them exactly it might be 20 minutes. Um, in a classroom, the person out the front is the teacher and the people that are learning information are the students. If you go to an area where there's a lot of houses and people are packed tight together like a city, it's urban. And out in the country where there's not many houses and a lot of animals, it's um, rural. If um, it's rainy, you want to go indoor, away from it. But if we've got a barely sun, you want to spend some time outdoors. For someone who's, um, they might be worrying about a particular item, and it might, something else might have a calming effect. And at the bottom of the house is the cellar, and the room at the top of the house is the attic. If someone doesn't mind waiting, they're very patient. Um, there might be a restaurant that's been booked out for several weeks, but you know the food is excellent and the service is great, so you might be patient even though it's a long time for booking. That someone impatient might get upset why they couldn't get something tonight. And that's everything there. So that wraps up what I was looking to go through tonight. Um, I, this came about because I recently was working on this program but, um, and managed to get it working. I couldn't quite get it the way I want. So if you've got anything else that you want me to see, do like um, flashcards or have a quiz and be interactive with people. I'll see what I can do to do that. I'm thinking of um, household items, things you might see around the house and um, some jobs and professions. It'll be something I'll be coming up soon. And if I've done anything um, that's annoying, please let me know. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see, and um, yeah, please leave a comment. So thanks for watching. Have a good night.